Hey everyone, welcome to 996 The Howl. For the uninitiated, this is an unedited YouTube vlog discussing everything Arizona Coyotes, and there's a lot of good things to talk about. I mean, what a two days, like two or three days, can change your mood so fast. I mean, this team was in a really bad spot coming off the weekend, coming off that Friday game and Sunday game. But uh, I said I said something needed to happen. A spark needed to happen. I didn't know what it was, and uh, apparently it was a trade made by John Chica, the monster, getting in Nick Schmaltz and uh, maybe getting some inexperience on the back end in the goaltending position. Maybe forcing the Coyotes to play uh, to play a way better defensively minded game. I mean, Ranta goes down with an injury in the Minnesota game. They were down 3-1, and then Aiden Hill comes in relief because Kemper is injured. And he gets a shutout in the third period against Minnesota. He helps the Coyotes rally and come back from behind and win that game 4-3. And then against Nashville, he comes in and gets a shutout. I mean, the Coyotes looked really good against Nashville and in the third period against Minnesota. Obviously, the first... Uh, two periods of Minnesota's game they looked really bad it was another one of those Calgary Colorado games Detroit games but I thought their Coyotes really came into their own against Nashville they started to play like how they were playing on that homestand their neutral zone play was great their defensive play was great everyone was covering a man everyone was hustling back five man units in each zone Scoring goals, scoring skilled goals. Uh, Nick Schmaltz, I mean, what a goal he scored. Nasty toe drag. To talk about Schmaltz, I really like him. He's tenacious on the puck. He hustles back hard. He has he commits a lot of takeaways, which is nice. And he doesn't give up on the play. And him and Keller have, like, instant chemistry. It's crazy how fast... Uh, how fast they've been able to uh, gel well together. Galchenyuk, he's got to get used to it a bit, but I thought he played one of his better games lately. He still needs to pick up the pace a bit more. He got an assist on that first goal on Keller's goal. So that's, that was good to see again back on the score sheet. Just overall a great game. I thought they still let in a lot of high-quality opportunities to Nashville. A lot of two-on-ones, maybe a breakaway here and there. Um, on the power play too, the the power play was kind of stinking in the first two periods against Nashville. They were letting in a lot of opportunities on Hill, but Hill stood up strong and uh, kept the game tight. And he earns a shutout. Other players thought the Grabner line looked great. And I gotta talk about this fourth line. I mean, coming out of nowhere. I mean, the fourth line has been invisible pretty much a whole season. I mean, Kraus got a couple goals when he got promoted to the top line or top second line. But Archibald was a ghost this whole season. Cousins, too. He just had one goal in this season. But ever since Strom left, I mean, in these past two games, Kraus has looked unbelievable in all areas of the ice. He's throwing the body around. He's skating fast. He's shooting the puck. He's great defensively. Just a really outstanding couple games for Kraus and Archibald. Scoring two goals against Minnesota, getting the game winner was hilarious. I mean, Archibald is the last person you expect to generate offense, but uh, it worked. Cousins had a couple looks. I think he had a great look against Nashville, but he couldn't pocket one in. But he looked engaged. So it makes me wonder what Strom is doing wrong to make that line so invisible, so ineffective. I mean, I don't know. Like, I'm not... I'm not a coach. I'm not a GM. I don't know these things. I just noticed how the fourth line was so was such a wash the whole season, and now these past two games, I mean, there are force out there, and Tockett's not afraid to throw them out there in any situation. So it's good to see that fourth line uh, contributing to the game, not only in goals, but just in uh, you know protecting the lead or, or generating energy, sort of like the Richardson line. Richardson, another goal. He leads the team in goals with seven. A great signing by Chaika in the summer. I mean, I, I assumed Richardson wasn't going to re-sign after Chaika went out and got Kruger. But it turns out uh, Chaika signs Richardson, trades Kruger 
for Henestroza and Osterley. Just great moves by Chaika. Hope he, he keeps it up. A little bit of a blemish with Galchenyuk and Domi, but I mean, it's still early. Galchenyuk's got to gotta pick up the pace. I like them on the wing more. I think it's true that Galchenyuk struggles defensively, so I like him, him on the wing and then keep Schmaltz center because he hustles back and forth and he's got great speed. So maybe that'll work out and uh, maybe Galchenyuk will pick it up. But yeah, just uh, it's good to have some better emotions when reflecting on the team lately. There, That was a rough two, three weeks. And uh, to come out on the road to face the top two teams in the Central Division and get commanding wins, uh, it speaks volumes to where this team has come. They got a couple weak teams ahead of them with St. Louis Saturday and LA Kings either Monday or Tuesday. So they got to keep pace. Hopefully Aiden Hill gets to start. Hopefully Aiden Hill becomes more consistent. They picked up Pickard on waivers. I'm not a huge fan of Pickard. I think he's pretty... I think he's a weak goalie. But I think it gives the county some short-term insurance considering how long Ranta and Kemper could be out and doesn't give that much pressure to Hunter Miska to throw him out in the Wolves. So Pickard will probably be a bench warmer, maybe see some action, but I wouldn't put too much confidence in him. I, I know I'm already like throwing in the towel on this guy, but... I've seen him. I've seen him play a lot of games when he was with Colorado, and in Philly. Uh, that I watched the Toronto game against Philly. I think on Saturday, where they lost six nothing, and he looked pretty brutal out there. So, uh, hopefully, Hill commands the net until Camper Ranta comes back. Cowboys keep playing they've been, the way they've been playing the past four periods, and things should be good. Things should be good. So that's it for me. Thank you for watching. Interesting times for the Cowdies, like always. And thank you for your support.